everybody, it's Colette with Blessing Scrap Therapy with another project. Friends, let's make a pretty sign out of a pizza pan. This is what I use. Let's get started. So I take my pizza pan and I use my crocodile to pop a couple holes. Then I'm using this suede chalk paint texture paint that I got on clearance at Michael's. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, so I'm just doing the inside a little bit and the outer lip. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing the center because we're going to put that placemat cut down into a circle and we don't need to waste the paint. So that's what I'm doing here. Perfect. Let it dry really well. And I flipped the pan over and I actually marked out where the edges were and then cut out the placemat. Then I put some uh, Mod Podge on the back of my placemat that I cut out and I also put some hot glue and then I put it in the center, making sure you are lining up those holes, okay? Um, and then I take some of this nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I just start gluing it all around the edges. Look at how cool this looks. Um, you cut the uh, excess off and then just glue the rest. Now I'm also taking that nautical rope and I'm measuring out um, how much I would need for a hanger and I'm just making one of the because it's like all twisty I'm using one of the twisty parts um, I put a piece of painters tape on the end so it's easier to lace through and then I'm just knotting the end of that and then figuring out how long I want my hanger to be and then I loop it through the other side now you don't have to do this part you certainly could um, glue one on it's just I like this because it's way more secure um, but Obviously, you do whatever you have capacity to do. If you don't have a crocodile, then glue it on. Don't let what you don't have dictate what you can do, okay, friends? There's always something we can do. All right, so there's the other side, and like I said, I'm just going to um, knot the other side, and, and I like it the way that it, with the knots on the outside, but you could do it the opposite if you don't like that look, and I just cut off the excess. Ta-da! All right, now I'm going to show you how I do my messy bow. I just took various... Um, pieces of ribbon and I cut them really it was no rhyme or reason how I cut them and I just crisscross applesauce all I'm doing is making an x and I alternate and I just keep crisscross applesauce all the way up um, again I'm using smaller pieces here and there and then I'm using some white jute to tie the center now before I tie the center I kind of pinch it in the middle just so that it doesn't bunch in a funky way if that makes sense I wrap some jute around and just tie it in the back super fun I love a messy bow some people like the more traditional bows and that's awesome too if I could make one <laughs> But this one I can make and it's easy and it makes me feel happy. So love me through it. So then I kind of start fluffing it out. And then, you know, I like to stress stuff. So I kind of bunch it up and then I just fluff it around a little bit more. And there is my messy bow. I love it. And then I put a little dollop of glue on the back and then add it to my project. And friends, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this project. Thanks so much for watching, friends.